The NBA 2K23 Player Builder, it is insanely difficult to make a build that can do it all, especially at the point guard position. This build has elite playmaking, catches bodies, and can still shoot from deep. I even made a version that can play defense too. Alright, so let's not waste your time, let's go ahead and build this player. So you're going to go ahead and get into the player builder, create a new build. So you're going to put the name as, your name, crazy right? You're going to put the position as point guard, you're going to be left handed because lefties shoot better than righties, even though that's not true, and you're going to be jersey number one because if you ain't first, you're last. For the height, I tested this a lot, and I mean a lot. Different heights have different amounts of attribute points that are used per attribute level, if that makes sense. And so anything above 6'2 uses too many attribute points per level in the finishing and playmaking category specifically, and it makes you have less points overall, which equals less badges. So we want to go 6'2. Anything under 6'2, you cannot get a 93 driving dunk, which is what I wanted. If you are okay with less than that, you could go shorter. Or maybe you could go higher because you don't need the finishing attributes in that category. But I went 6'2. Weight is going to be 199 because we want to have 90 acceleration because specifically I couldn't get any higher than that so we might as well be as heavy as possible for that acceleration. Our wingspan is going to be max because we do not need any more shooting than what you have at max wingspan anyway and it doesn't hurt us in any other way. And the body type is apparently going to be solid because I did not change it in this recording. So here's a quick rundown of why each attribute is the way that it is. So first, I want driving dunk at 93, all right? So that's the baseline here. The reason for 93 is 92 is all of the elite contact dunks, and 93 gives you that limitless takeoff and that gold posterizer, which is key. Now, you can't just go out here with 16 finishing badges. You want to be able to put on posterizer or limitless takeoff. So we're going to put 88 layup, so then we can have the long athlete layup package, and we're going to take the close shot up just enough to get us that extra badge point. Now we can take standing layups, you know. So we got Limitless Takeoff, Slithery, Posterizer, Acrobat, and Fearless Finisher, and we will be able to equip all of those. So that's a perfect amount of badge points. Three point shot, I wanted to go for 85 because we need Limitless Range on Silver and Deadeye on Silver. That way we can step back and shoot. That's really all we're going to be doing here. This is an ISO Slasher type build. But with that Space Creator badge, we can step back and we can shoot Limitless Threes. So it's perfect. And I put the mid-range up just a couple just so we could get that 19 badge points that way we can use everything and that's exactly what we need so ball handle you, i would say the minimum is 94 for that gold handles for days you could technically get by with 89 for that hall of fame quick first step but that would be the bare minimum but i would recommend at least getting handles for days on gold right but if we go up a little bit higher 95 that gives us hall of fame unpluckable 96 gives us hall of fame clamp breaker so for a slasher clamp breaker seems pretty good maybe not for like a play shot or something but i think it's worth it and we can core badge that so it won't cost the extra badge point so we're going to put our speed with ball up just enough to get 24 badge points right there because if i go any higher it uses so many attributes that i can't even finish out my physicals so we're going to put it on 89 and then we're going to get our pass accuracy up just to get the extra badges and to have that hall of fame dimer at 85 and then I wanted to go a little bit higher because I wanted the extra badge. I could tell that I was not going to have enough. And trust me, 29 is still not enough badges. But we're going to put our extra badges on this category. So it really will be 33. So for the defense, this build has no defense, right? <laughs> I put it up to 3. We'll be able to use Workhorse as our our core badge. And we can put on something else like Off-Ball Pest if we're playing Off-Ball or Menace or whatever. But stay tuned if you want to see a build with defense i've got another build with defense in this same video so just look at that that build actually might be better to y'all but for me this is a pro-am 5v5 build rec 5v5 whatever i'm not guarding ball i'm never going to guard ball i don't need defense right speed in 80 that's only for off ball movement it's okay so you don't need to worry about that and vertical 82 so we can get contact dunks like i was saying earlier and then stamina obviously you want that as high as possible now you guys might be turned off by the 80 speed but it does not affect your speed with ball at all the only thing that affects that is speed with ball and acceleration and the other build that has better defense i did put the speed up so check that out if you would rather see that so the free throw is a 78 because i play 
5v5 modes. If you don't care about the free throw, well, you probably want the defense build anyway because that means you don't play 5v5. But you could take that down and you could put up your speed a little bit. You could put your stamina up. You could put your defense up. But all right, so let's give this build some defense now. So we're not gonna have to. We're not gonna have all of these high stats anymore. We're gonna have to sacrifice some stuff. So we're gonna take the dunk down a little bit. We're gonna lose that gold posterizer, but. We're still going to have the pro contact dunks, and we're still going to have gold limitless takeoff. The, the limitless takeoff is at 86, so we're going to keep it at 86, and the contact dunks are at 84. We're still going to keep our long athletes layup, but we're going to lower our close shot a little bit and lose one badge. That way we still keep 21 badges, and we still can equip everything here. It's just now silver tier, and we get pro contacts instead of elite. We still get that fairest finisher. We still get that acrobat. And then, of course, we have that gold limitless takeoff. So now the three-point shot, we're going to lose our limitless range silver here, down to bronze. And at 82, you lose that guard up gold, which I think is pretty important. And you also lose dead eye silver if you go down any lower than that. So um, I think the best place to put here would be 82, maybe 83 for guard up gold. So we're going to go with that. And then we're going to tick that down to a 70, lose one badge to make up for losing the limitless range. And we still should be able to equip everything there. So now for ball control, we're going to drop this a little bit and we're still going to get gold handles for days, but we're just not going to have all of that extra stuff. We could go down to 89, like I was saying earlier, but I don't think that's really viable for ISO anymore at that point, because you don't have gold handles for days. You're not going to be able to dribble. So we're going to drop the pass accuracy a little bit and we're going to use those points that we make up to actually put our ball control back up here in a second. But first, let's get the defense. So perimeter defense, we need that to be at least a 79 for Silver Challenger. That That's what I would say you need to be able to play decent defense. We're going up to an 81 so we can get the extra badge point. For Steel, we're having 78 for Interceptor Silver. And we're going up one more for the extra badge point. Now you have 17 defensive badges. You got all silver perimeter badges. You even got some gold. You're looking good. We're putting our speed and acceleration up. Now our speed is high enough to actually guard ball. Our vertical doesn't need to be 82 anymore because we don't need the elite contacts. So now we can do a 75 for pro contacts. And now we actually have enough points to get our ball control back up again. So now we have gold handles for days once again. So then put the free throw up and there you go. So I kind of manipulated that a little bit. So here's what it finally looks like. Still have 21, 17, 27, 17. So now this actually has a lot more badges and it's probably more of a viable build, but now you actually have, this build can do it all on offense. It can do everything. And it actually has enough badges to do it. That's the thing here. A lot of people's builds, they say they have, say, 95 driving dunk, but they only get 12 badges. You can't even equip a single tier three badge. Like, what are you gonna do with that? But anyway. You can get any takeover you want offensively on this build, but I would recommend Team Badge Boost as a 5v5 point guard because that just immensely helps all of your teammates and it opens up the floor so much. So as you can see here, we got an inside out playmaker. Similar to Damian Lillard, I would say it's more like John Morant, but what do I know? Anyway, so <laughs> let's get into the badges. So I'm not going to waste too much time talking about the badges. I'm just going to show you what I would do, and then we can move on. If you have any questions, just comment them below. Let me know. I will say the playmaking is what I would add your four badge points to that you get from doing those quests in my career. Playmaking badges will still be lacking even after having 33, but every other category we can fit into what we need, and I would just keep adding more to playmaking as we go forward. This video helped you comment for the algorithm and check my channel because of the popper build that I made. Shooting center, power forward, will be up very soon.